Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video I am going to try making selenic acid again. Um, what you see before you here is a solution of selenous acid in nitric acid. I dissolved 10 grams of gray selenium that I bought from JD Chemist on eBay and then I ground it up in a mortar and pestle till it was a coarse powder and then dissolved it and fairly strong nitric acid um, so that's what we have here we are going to try to turn this into selenic acid by way of barium selenate we are going to use bromine as the oxidizer we have several choices here all right atomistry gives several synthetic pathways starting from this mix of selenous acid and nitric acid made by dissolving elemental selenium and nitric acid. Um, I didn't include that part in the video, one because it is a long and tedious process. Um, selenous acid, or selenium rather, will dissolve in nitric acid. If it's very strong, it will do it fairly readily with the production of a fuck ton of nitrogen oxides like brown nitrogen dioxide and other nasty things um, but it's not practical to just dissolve selenium and incredibly strong nitric acid and call it a day you got to add some water in there and then I don't know I diluted it too far and then I had to evaporate it down a good ways and it was kind of a pain in the ass to get it all to dissolve so it's long and drawn out and you've already seen me do it and I'm pretty sure you've seen me do it in a previous video I've done it several times um, this is not my first radio with dissolving selenium and nitric acid although I will say the stronger the nitric acid the better <laughs> like if you can make red fuming nitric acid and then dilute that shit do that don't worry about the dissolved nitrogen oxide you're gonna be making a fuck ton of them anyway they'll just when you heat it up and it's stirring they'll, they'll just evaporate out um so there like I was saying there are several ways we can go about doing this you can do this with chlorine but it's a pain in the ass because hot hydrogen chloride or I guess hydrochloric acid um, will reduce selenic acid however I can't find anything that mentions bromine or hydrogen bromide having the same issues you can use potassium bromate but I don't have enough of it I do have some I'd made some up a long fucking time ago back towards the start of this channel but I needed like 21 fucking grams of it and I only had 10 so who said fuck it I've got a good bit of bromine in here, so we'll go with that. I know bromine is hard to get for some people. Atomistry says that if you do want to use chlorine, that the way to do it is to create a solution of selenous acid by dissolving selenium and nitric acid, and then I guess dissolve some lead with it or add lead nitrate. Um, either way would work. And then that will give you a solution of lead nitrate and selenous acid in nitric acid and then to bubble chlorine through that now um i don't know about that because lead selenite which is what you should get if um it, it's not soluble i couldn't find anything that said that it was soluble in nitric acid um I, I i don't know and i would think you would have an issue with getting lead nitrate to dissolve in nitric acid because of the common ion effect so, uh, I, I didn't know. I mean, I way just seemed fraught with problems when I, I have bromine here. <laughs> um, another thing that you can use is potassium permanganate, but then that's going to make um, manganese heptoxide, call it what it really is, dimanganese heptoxide, that is the proper name for that shit. We've all seen the videos of that stuff being evil, and you have to heat it up with that. Um, another way we could have done this was to, would be to dissolve selenium, uh, elemental selenium, in chloric acid, made from sulfuric acid and barium chlorate. And honestly, if I had to do this again, I would do that because that just gives you selenic acid. But um, no matter which way you do it, Atomistry says you can neutralize whatever, you know, your solution of selenic acid and, you know, other shit with ammonia and then precipitate it out with barium 
think chloride. Um, I would think any soluble barium salt would work. And that will precipitate out barium selenate. And we can filter that and rinse it real good. And then we can react that with sulfuric acid. And um, that will give us pure selenic acid, which we can concentrate down. It even talks about how to crystallize it, although I don't know that I want to go that far. If I can get selenic acid and put it in a fucking bottle and put it on my shelf, I'll be happy. So, here we go. Alright. Going to add bromine to this fucker, and I want to add an excess. I don't really know how much to add. So I'm just going to kind of make it up. Do not want to get it on myself. Because this shit burns like a motherfucker. Okay, man. That's got to be an excess amount of burning. I hope. All right, we're going to heat this up. Um, the bromine will, of course, evaporate out of there, but hopefully it is oxidizing the living shit out of our salinous acid and turning it into selenic acid. And with the production of hydrogen, or hydrobromic acid, I would imagine. Although this is not a viable way for making hydrobromic acid. I mean, it will make it, but good luck separating it. We're going to convert the bromide to ammonium bromide with the ammonia and that will get rid of that anyway I will come back when there's something to show you guys okay so I've added bromine to this a couple more times I heated it up I stirred it for the better part of an hour um, and then I took the watch glass off of it and turned off the heat and just let it stir to get as much of the bromine out as possible. I don't know that it will hurt what we're going to do. I don't think it'll do anything. But um, I just wanted to get as much of it out as possible. This looks very much like strong hydrobromic acid always looks. So that's not terribly far out there for something that, you know, I would expect for a mixture of... Well, at this point, if all has gone well, would be selenic acid, nitric acid, and hydrobromic acid. Yeah, I can, do, you know, made from bromine. So, okay, it's a little yellow. I can live with that. So, following our new and improved prep from Atomistry, the next step is to neutralize this with ammonia. This should be fun. Because this thing should be pretty damn acidic. And we're using ammonia and um, because the ammonium salts of everything in here should be soluble. Get a lot of ammonium bromide forming. Will you hush? I'm trying to work here. Imagine that it is heating up. Well, not dramatically so. Like I said, that smoke is just, it's not really smoke. It's just very fine salt particles that are formed from the ammonia vapor and the acid vapor. Now, I can't imagine that ammonium selenate is great to be breathing or consuming in any way, but... I also can't imagine that the selenic acid is the volatile component here. I'd bet any amount of money that's the nitric and hydrobromic acids.
All right, now that it is alkaline, everything has been neutralized, we are going to combine it with barium chloride in order to precipitate out what we hope is going to be barium selenate. It, barium selenite is also insoluble, so we're going to have a lot of fun trying to figure out that this actually all worked later and we're not just sitting here chemically whacking off just turning selenite into various forms just to get it back again. Um, so this is really goddamn hot. I'm going to let it cool off now and then now we need to precipitate it out with a barium salt. I'm supposed to use barium chloride but I don't know that I have enough so I may have to use a mixture of barium chloride and barium bromide because I do have some of that. So I will use it all, all the stuff that I've got, but that's okay because I have a fuck ton of barium carbonate, so I can always make more. Um, just as soon as I make more hydrobromic acid, just as soon as I make more bromine. I swear to fucking God, man, the routine stuff I need to do is never done. I really wish I would win the lottery so I could hire an assistant already. And just have them, that'd be their job, man. Just make all this fucking routine crap that I need day after day. <laughs> And wash the dishes. <laughs> I fucking hate washing dishes. <laughs> All right. Once this is cooled off, I will come back when I'm ready to dump in our solution of barium salts and precipitate out what we hope is barium selenate. All right, people. Here we go. Here's the moment of truth. So, this is our barium chloride solution. Here is our presumably selenic acid solution. Well, no, that would be ammonium selenate. Sorry. Well, we're getting a precipitate. That's good. But again, barium selenite, which if it didn't convert, is what we would have, will also precipitate as a white solid. So this doesn't tell us much. We should get this to happen regardless. We won't know everything has worked perfectly until we convert this into selenic acid or selenous acid. We turn turn it right back into what it, what we started with if, we're, if it didn't work. Um, but we should be able to tell the difference between selenous acid and selenic acid. And, I mean, honestly, would it be the end of the world if it was pure selenous acid? No, <laughs> because up until now, I've never been able to get selenous acid free of nitric acid. So, I mean, even if it fails, it succeeds. It just doesn't succeed in what I want it to be. But it's something that I, I, I will absolutely take that as a second prize. That, that, that works. So really, I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you people, you know, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, having cancer and spending time homeless will teach you. You gotta make, you know, turn that frown upside down and turn bad things in life into good things. All right. That looks like it's all good. So now we are going to, um, hmm, you know. When I go to filter this, it is going to be the stuff of nightmares. Hmm. I didn't think that far ahead. All right, this is our filtered product here that I've suspended in some water, adding some 1.65 molar sulfuric acid to this. And it should Precipitate out barium sulfate, leaving us with, well, hopefully selenic acid, possibly selenous acid. We won't know until it's been purified, um, then we can test it. So, just going to let this stir for a little while, and then I will remove all of the barium sulfate, which I'm sure will be a right pain in the ass, and then I will come back once we have our pure stuff. 
All right, everyone, so here is the selenic acid that I've been evaporating down. It's still got a little ways to go. Um, it's a little cloudy because there are incredibly tiny particles of barium sulfate still in there, despite me having centrifuged it twice now. Um, if I let it sit for several hours, they will settle out, so I can decant this off later. But um, what I'm going to do, because this is going to take a while to evaporate it down, you don't want to let it get too hot or else selenic acid will decompose I think at 230 or 236 C so you don't want to let it get too terribly hot as you're evaporating it down um, you want to take your time so this is gonna take a while but I can go ahead and I can prove that I have selenic acid here I tried this last night and it worked out beautifully so let's hope it does so today what I have here is some copper 2 carbonate I think this is just, it's probably the basic carbonate, but whatever. Either one works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this acid to it. You can see it's dissolving and fizzing. Oh, well, now you can. All right, we need a little water in there, possibly, probably. Okay. This should be dissolving this to produce copper selenate. Maybe, hello, come on, could you dissolve please? Sometime this century would be fucking nice. Okay, seriously? Seriously. Now, copper selenate is much like copper sulfate. You can see the color is very similar. And, okay, like copper sulfate, hello. If we add ammonia to this, we should get a very dark blue solution. Um, copper selenite should not do this. I also think copper selenite might be insoluble, but I couldn't find anything to confirm that specifically. So, I don't want to say that that necessarily means anything. Um, the fact that it, you know, turned nice and blue like that, which again is very copper sulfate looking, that's good. Here we go. Here's some aqueous ammonia. Oh, would you look at that? Nice and dark blue. Boom. Would you look at that shit? So, that's just exactly the same um, thing that happens with if you add ammonia to copper sulfate. So, um, because I had excess barium selenate I, I actually made calculated the amount of sulfuric acid that I used so that it was slightly less than what was necessary just to make sure there was no sulfuric acid that ended up in the final product and it was all selenic acid so I am very very confident <laughs> about this being selenic acid I mean that pretty much clinches it right there that proves it so there you go. So this is great, man. We now have a nice, much better way of producing selenic acid. According to Atomistry, um, you can evaporate this down until you can't evaporate it anymore. Hello, stir, damn it. And um, then once you've got it as concentrated as you can get it, if you cool it down to minus 50 C, it will crystallize and you'll get crystalline selenic acid, which is really fascinating because if you go down to the next heaviest element in this um, column on the periodic table, which is tellurium, telluric acid, which is the tellurium analog of selenic acid, is actually a solid at room temperature. This is some telluric acid that I got from the gayest person on YouTube. God, I love that screen name. And as you can see, this is just a white solid at room temperature. So very different from sulfuric or selenic acid. Very cool, right? So anyway, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, you've clearly never tried to make selenic acid before. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can, please. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That's pretty goddamn awesome, man. So glad this finally worked.